Hello and welcome to Food for Thought. It's Mark Lockridge here. I'm the pastor of New Life Fellowship in Letterkenny and the Reformed Presbyterian Church in Milford. It's great to have you with us. Tell me this, if you come across the term FOMO, it stands for fear of missing out. It's that nagging fear that you're missing out on something. Something that's better than what you're currently doing. The constant stream from social media means that people see a vast array of options. Some of them are what your friends are doing and you are missing out. And others are what you could be doing but hadn't thought of. For some people it can become quite paralysing. There are all sorts of ways to think about it. One way is to tackle it from the perspective of Daegu. I've invented the acronym, but it stands for Disappointed at Getting Everything You Ever Wanted. It's the opposite of FOMO. And maybe you've come across it, because many celebrities, sports stars and successful individuals speak of it. Jim Carrey, the actor and comedian, said, I think everybody should get rich and famous and do everything they ever dreamed of so that they can see it's not the answer. Rugby star Johnny Wilkinson, on winning the World Cup, said, I had already begun to feel the elation slipping away from me during the lap of honour around the field. I couldn't believe that all the effort was losing its worth so soon. I'd just achieved my greatest ambition, and it felt a bit empty. You know, it reminds me of the book of Ecclesiastes in the Bible. In it, King Solomon has what you and I don't often have or ever have. He has the time and the money and the opportunity to seek happiness in everything. And by everything, I mean everything. Work, play, sex, pleasure, fame, wisdom, the lot. And his conclusion was that the pursuit of happiness in these was, to quote, a chasing after the wind. What he's saying is that the very things that we fear will ruin our lives if we miss out on them turn out not to be the answer after all. So we could say that FOMO isn't worth it really. It would be easy to mock this fear of missing out and the way it paralyzes some people. But what if it is a legitimate fear? What if there is something really worth fearing missing out on? I suspect that there's something deep-rooted inside us that knows that there is something big that we were made for and that we are right to fear missing out on it. The same writer in the Bible, that Solomon, tells us that God has set eternity in our hearts. We are wired for something much bigger than this tiny, often messed up life. Your FOMO is legitimate. There is something you could miss out on forever. The problem is that too often we aim far too low. What if there is something glorious and wonderful that far outweighs, outranks and outlasts anything that this world can offer. That's what Jesus Christ knew. And that's what he came to bring to us, or to bring us to. He knew what it was we would miss out on. Jesus knew the glories of knowing God, and the glories of what this life was designed to be, perfect and endless. And so he came to provide a way so that we might never miss out. He said, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. You can find that in John 10 and verse 10. So don't aim your FOMO too low, or you will indeed miss out. Aim at Jesus Christ, and you will find an inheritance which can never perish, spoil, or fade, kept in heaven for you. That's in 1 Peter 1 verse 4. And whatever you miss out on in this life will seem as nothing compared to the prospect that awaits. So let me encourage you, set the bar high, make Jesus Christ your focus, and you will miss out on nothing that is truly valuable. Thanks for listening. And remember, if you have any comments or questions, or anything you want me to deal with, you can reach me at mark at newlifefellowship.ie. Have a great week.